selfers and carnivores and other people who are following a keto type lifestyle or just looking for a way to cut out some carbs. Uh, today I have a quick and easy recipe. In fact, it's almost kind of embarrassing to call this a recipe because it is so simple. But it's something that some people may not be used to and I do have a few tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you so I thought I would post on it. What we are going to be making today is some pork rind crumbs. This is basically a substitute for breadcrumbs. It works really well as a breading in keto type recipes. And lately I have been making them quite a bit because I started experimenting with chicken nugget recipes. While I eat a lot of steaks and I tend to stick more with red meats lately, uh, my family has been getting a bit bored and they've wanted more variety. And I started making different types of chicken nuggets, especially for my son, but actually everybody in the family has loved them. And it was amazing how quick and easy they were. In my mind, I had this idea of having to bread things by dipping into egg and then having to coat with flour and then to have to do all of these steps and then to deep fry. But I found how easy it was. I was blending up some chicken with a few other ingredients and then rolling it into small little nuggets and then just coating them directly into these pork rind crumbs. And no need for any sort of egg before, other flours. You didn't have to do all these different layers. And I could easily crisp them up in the air fryer. I just paint a little bit of lard over top of it or melted bacon grease and they have been delicious. I will be sharing that recipe very soon. I have been making it a ton lately. So I have been going through a bunch of pork rind crumbs. I figured it was a good opportunity to take to share how to make these. Now, this is really just simple. You just take some pork rinds, and here I can open these up and show you. I mostly use these just for this sort of recipe. And I'm going to be using these fluffier pork rinds. Here in Spain, I can find two different types of pork rind type snacks. Uh, these are the lighter ones. They're more airy. They're usually called cortezas de cerdo. Although these are often called that too. In this case, it was morro frito, or it's like this area of the pig that's fried. But this has more of the meat. It's a lot denser in texture. And I don't like these as much for a breading. You could use either, but this gives a really nice, light, airy texture. These tend to be cheaper. Of course, there is a lot more air in them but they give more of a panko type feeling. If you've ever used panko for breading things, that's what this gives you the sensation of. It's, it's very similar to a panko. Whereas this grinds into a more dense type flour, it's not as fluffy. It, you could use something like this, but I like the texture that these give more. Now to grind these up, there's several different methods you can use. The best is probably a food processor. This is what I use. I have a Thermomix robot type food processor that is German made and very popular here in Europe. While this looks like a blender, it is actually quite wide on the bottom and it works just like a food processor. Uh, so it's very easy. Even if I fill it to the max line, I can get almost two bags of these in here to process at once and it processes them very quickly. You could try using a blender, but I'm gonna assume that it would be kind of tricky. You would have to use smaller amounts at once because it just won't get down to the bottom. So if you have a food processor, that's your best bet for making these really quickly and really easily. I just put them in here and I process for a few seconds. I take a look and I see how it's going. At first, you'll see that it will break up into bigger crumbs and then you just keep processing until you're happy with it. If your food processor is not moving them around, you wanna stop every few seconds and just mix it a little bit just to make sure that everything evens out. Mine does a really good job, again, of moving things about, and so I get a pretty even grind on mine. I like to store mine in these. I had bought these as snacks. These are the ones that my husband prefers as a snack. So I have been saving the container, and that's where I store my finished panko or pork rind crumbs. 
But, um, and to be able to store this for longer, you could consider putting in one of these desiccation packets that come in certain foods. Uh, usually when I see one in a food, I will save it in case I want to use it for something like this. I also store my meat chips with them and that does seem to help them stay a bit fresher longer. You don't want any humidity getting in here, so you wanna make sure that this is well sealed. If you are gonna be making in bulk and you don't think you're gonna be using it in time, you can also consider vacuum sealing. That will also keep it much fresher, much longer. But I use these up really quickly for my nuggets and I have been making them every week now. That's pretty much all I have to say. Again, this is very simple. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you like this recipe, then please give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe for more recipes like this one. Until next time.